Hey guys, it's Lobby from Silver Dingo, and today I'm doing a first impression on the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation. I have the colour number one ivory, so I'm going to divide my face into four, and so this is just going to be no primer and a makeup sponge, and then the bottom is going to be primer and a makeup sponge, and then this side is going to be primer and a brush and no primer and a brush. So we can test out all the different situations, how you would apply and which can get the best effect. Love the box and this packaging is really cute. It's a frosted glass container with this plastic lid and then it has a pump which is, makes it way easier to apply. So I'm actually going to put the primer on now. So I'm going to put this on the bottom half of my face. I'm just using this NYX Photo Loving Primer. I'm going to start with one pump of this guy. This is interesting. It is not coming out. That is about one, mm, maybe a bit more. That's about one pump, that teeny little bit. And I'm going to start with the makeup sponge side, which is this side. And mm, this might be a bit dark, but I will. We can just blend it. So this is the primed bit. And it's going on pretty well. It smells interesting. Definitely does have a little bit of a scent, but I don't really know what it is. This is quite thin. It's blending out quite nicely. It's kind of, I would say yes it is buildable, but it's quite a thin coverage. A little bit patchy around my nose like around this area where it's a bit red but over here it looks nice and smooth and one pump doesn't go that far I'm, just, I'm gonna use a little bit more now going on the unprimed bit I think that looks quite good the shade actually does match me quite well it is not as much coverage as I thought it was gonna be it's not as flawless as I thought it was it is actually nice but I feel like it could look a little bit smoother but I'm going to try with a brush now I've just got this foundation brush which I got from Aliexpress let's try this it's kind of nice how like feeling how it's thin but it means you have to use a little bit more than you might normally although it is quite a big bottle so it'll last a while now that I've blended it all out I think it looks a little bit better on the side with the brush but it was a bit harder to blend than this I don't know this is just a bit patchy on this side but it was nicer to blend with the sponge so I don't know whatever you prefer just it doesn't really matter if you use a sponge or a brush because they both look very similar. I think this foundation is really nice and it gives a beautiful coverage but I don't really like to use foundations a lot. I prefer to use the Maybelline BB cream. I just don't like that feeling of foundation on my face. I really don't think it makes that much of a difference with primer. I'm just going to show you kind of a close-up of my skin. So I'm going to go and do some stuff, maybe film a video, and I'll come back to you in a few hours or maybe two hours. But by doing this, I'm going to test the longevity of this foundation how it wears over time and if it still looks fabulous and flawless. I'm back and it's been about two hours. I'm going to rate all the different aspects of this foundation. So the different things that I'm going to rate are colour, application, longevity, price and look. 
and I'm going to rate these out of 5. So the colour I would definitely give a 5 because it matches my skin pretty nice. They have a really wide range of different colours so you can match your skin perfectly. Application, I give this a 3.5 out of 5 because it was a little bit patchy, a little bit hard to blend. The next thing is longevity and as I was saying it's holding up pretty well so I would give it a 4.5. It is getting a touch oily. Next thing is price and this is definitely like a 3 or a 2.5 because it's $40 and that's quite a lot of money and New Zealand makeup is oh, way more expensive anyway but $40 is still quite a lot for a foundation you can get definitely foundations for $25 the look I would say is a 4.5 I really like this foundation but I'm not gonna wear it every day it looks really smooth and flawless and pretty but if you look close up you can still see that you're wearing foundation and some people just don't like that look and even though it's light you can still feel that you've got foundation so it's really good for a foundation but since I wear a BB cream most of the time I it's not my favorite so I'm not gonna wear this every day but I'm probably gonna be wearing it quite a lot because I do really like the finish and it does give a bit more coverage than a BB cream. I've added up the score and this Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation has got a 20 out of 25. I definitely recommend this foundation if you don't mind spending a little bit more. I will see you in the next video. Bye!